I just got an email. So after, um, after you get the portrait taken, you, um, you leave it with them and then he backs, backs it on, on black and, and ships it to you, you know, making sure that you can do the final rinse and so I didn't leave with the amber type in my hand. <laughs> and of course, hindsight is twenty twenty. This is Vanessa Joy, and we are going to do something very exciting today. I grew up in the darkroom and I learned film and I adored it and that's where I fell in love with photography is processing my own black and white prints. I did color too but I really truly love the black and white darkroom. So I understand why people wanted to bring it back. In fact, I even tried doing tin types recently with Seth Miranda. Uh, it was actually an abysmal failure. Yeah, someone's going blind today. <laughs> we both are. <laughs> Maybe we'll tackle that again. But what I am going for right now, I'm going to have my amber type 16 by 20 portrait taken by Giles Clement. Clement, I guess it's Clement. I'll have to ask him. What is an amber type? So it's an alternative process, an older process, where you take a photo using a large format camera directly on to a piece of 16 by 20 glass. The glass is treated with chemicals first so that it's sensitive to light, and then the photo is taken with a large format camera and then processed. I'm a little nervous for it because we take one photo. There is no redos. I better not blink. There is no retouching of any kind. We're going to a studio in Brooklyn that he has rented out, and um, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> into the studio. I have so much stuff with me because I have to shoot four shoots between today and tomorrow after this nighttime in the city, but here we go. And I'm a Well, Worlds, this is Giles. Hey, and uh, how do you pronounce your last name? Is it Clement? Technically, I wish, no. Because then I, I'd be French and I could charge more for my photos. <laughs> but it's Clement. Okay. So, yeah. So the, the camera I built around this lens, which is it's called a it's made by a company in uh, Germany called Gertz. So mm -hmm. this, the lens was made in 1918. It was originally designed as an aerial recon lens for um, planes and zeppelins in the First World War. So this was strapped to the bottom of a zeppelin or an airplane, flown around. Um, so I found this in Tempe, Arizona, about six years ago. And I originally shot it a lot with um, with eight by ten because it's a 500 millimeter, which is really a portrait length for for um, for an eight by ten. But then I wanted to go a bit bigger, and I sort of just I originally designed a wooden camera and built that around the lens, and that worked with the 16 by 20. But it was this ugly contraption with uh, you know made, I made it in a day when I was quite I wasn't sober, um, <laughs> and it had trash bag bellows, and it just looked like shit. And I photographed like a number of like famous musicians and all these celebrities and stuff like with this trash bag camera and then I was like I should probably make this look a little bit better. <laughs> so, it should probably not look like a photograph. Yeah a yeah bag. yeah if you're like in a some movie star's house with a trash bag camera so it's just a monorail it's kind of designed around how I shoot where um you know a lot of cameras I ride and fall on them I don't use any of that so I don't really need it so there's a front front and back tilt and that's it um and then the the other thing I changed from other cameras is most large format cameras are top loading, so you put the the film in on the top, but obviously this gets pretty high up. Right. So I made it side loading, which is a lot easier to deal with. So you can drop it in there. The focus is just like any other large format where you know you, you do the major stuff just by pulling and pushing. 
Um, and then there's a, a fine focus here, just run on a, on a one gear. So that does that. And then if you want to shoot horizontal, the whole back pops off and you can rotate it like that. And then you can shoot landscapes or. Cool. That's sort of the camera. That's the thing. In that mixture, there's uh, lithium lithium bromide, ammonium iodide, so those are like metal salts. And so- Super safe. Totally safe. <laughs> it's as safe as I can make it. When those components get in, in contact with the silver, the silver turns from silver nitrate over to silver iodide and silver bromide. So that's essentially like what black on the film is. So we set that there, and then we'll get you set up, do, the, do all the final focusing and stuff. Are you feeling ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, 5,000 watts, and it's coming out. ISO 3 at F16. Fantastic. So. <laughs> I definitely feel like I'm dark. You want to come in my dark tent with me? <laughs> Stranger danger alarms. Yeah, really. This is something I tell my daughter never to do. <laughs> oh, don't worry. There's chemicals. It's fine. <laughs> there it is. It doesn't look like. It's exactly the same now, and then we're gonna pour a developer solution over it. So the developer is just vinegar and iron sulfate and a little bit of alcohol. So we're gonna pour this just like we poured the clodium. And that goes on the surface. Now you're gonna start to see, hopefully, a negative image show up. And then we drop it down here in the bath, which is a stop bath. So you just gotta keep waiting for it. But I start to see, so you start to see your cheek coming in there and your shoulder right here. You can see your eyeballs and your hair. Just bring it a little bit more. That's good. That's good. So then it goes in here, and this is just a stop bath, so it stops the development. So it's just washing off all the all the developer on the plate. And then the fixer is really the only off-the-shelf thing that I use. Um, so it's just a photo standard black and white photo fixer. For, and then that's gonna react with the silver again, and it's gonna strip away all the silver particles that weren't hit by light, so those will turn black, and then it leaves all the silver that was, so in the highlights, this, this will all stay like it was, and this stuff goes away. So you can see it start to work on your hair there first. Oh my God, that is like hauntingly magical. <laughs> Oh, you're gorgeous. That one's easier. Whoa. Cool, pretty lady. That's pretty freaking epic. Yeah, you get a bit of a, like a projection effect. Way to nail it. <laughs> I'm back in Manhattan now, headed to my hotel because I'm here for two days and I uh, got some shoots to do. I don't even know how to explain that experience. That experience was crazy. So I uh, apologize, I look like shit right now. I just got an email, so after um, After you get the portrait taken, you um, you leave it with them, and then he backs backs it on on black and and ships it to you. You know, making sure that you can do the final rinse and everything else. Um, so I didn't leave with the ember type in my hand. <laughs> and of course, hindsight is twenty twenty. I just got an email that there was an accident. They didn't say what, but all the ambrotypes from that day that he took were completely destroyed. So I don't get to have it. I 
really sucks. It's not like I can't go print it again. I should have just taken it with me.